Greeting to all. So today we're going to answering question from static under the topic for system resulted. Question one: We have a crane. Essentially, uh, that consists a uh, box F mass about one to OKG. And the question asking two problem. The first will be to classify the equation of movement uh, for the wall system that respect onto x and theta. And the other that will be find out the maximum possible movement ejected in the wall system. So let's start with the problem solving. So as you can see, I'm again with FBD right there. If you want to answer any question of static or dynamic, you need to begin with FBD. The wrong FBD will get the wrong analysis. So every day very essential thing. So we'll have a lever A to B and at point B, it have a downward direction force which is 1177.2 newton and getting from 1 to OKG you need to times by the gravitational acceleration so we'll get this magnitude and we'll have theta right there we need to classify the axis of analysis so let's make our axis let's classify our axis at this point the axis in y direction will be in the this uh, in this direction the axis in the x will be this direction so you need to classify it and according to the fbd our force 1177.2 newton already parallel onto the y axis so that's why we'll have a movement force 100% by weight of the box which is 1177.2 we need to times by the distance the perpendicular distance which is at point a from here to there so with attempt to getting that we need to use a trigonometry and don't be careless if you might notice the distance it's at point a so this mean you need for the hypotenuse, you need to minus 9 by 1.5. So that's why you will get 7.5 right there. Plus by x, x is this length. So the hypotenuse will be 7.5 times by x. Since that we want to make a, uh, we want to get the horizontal distance. So we need to times by cos theta. And by this stuff. The negative indicate that this weight cause a movement in anti in close in clockwise direction because our analysis will assume some of the movement at point a will exit the uh, anti-clockwise as positive so that's why when uh, we are uh, make analysis this force will make a movement clockwise direction so that's why the magnitude uh, the, the 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 sign will be negative and we'll have to include the ma because uh, Movement at the point A, if you think logic about it, we have a system when you're trying to push this uh, crane in this direction. So the crane will, in logic, for me, the crane will insist that motion. So this means that must have an internal movement in the system. So I illustrate the internal movement by MA. So the equation of the movement for our system will be MA minus by this stuff equal to zero that we are involved in static so anything must be included zero second question asking the maximum movement for the wall system so if you can see in this equation we only have two unknown the first one will be theta and x which is can manipulate the uh, movement at point a so the task is to classify what is the value of theta and x that can make a possible maximum movement so uh, we need to use the wall length of the hypotenuse. So this means the theta must be equal to zero. So that's why the theta is equal to zero. And the x must be the most uh, possible uh, bar from this point to this point can extend. So in this question, uh, in this question, we mentioned that this bar, uh, this member, can extend up to 5 meter maximum so you can be extended by 5 meter so 
So that's why we need include the maximum possible line which is 5 meter and we calculate we will summit we will get 14715 meter meter or equal to 14.7 kilometer meter so i think that's it thank you for watching and have a nice day bye bye